Binary Fission in Prokaryotes by kscience.com. This here is a prokaryotic cell. What I'm drawing here is a bacterial cell. Because it's a prokaryotic cell, it's got a cell wall, which I'm drawing now. And it's got chromosomal DNA or circular DNA. And this here is the plasmid DNA. So this here is a prokaryote. This is the plasmid DNA. And this here is the chromosomal DNA or circular DNA. Now I'm going to describe binary fission. This is the way in which prokaryotes like bacteria divide and replicate. It is similar to mitosis, but it is not mitosis. Prokaryotes divide and replicate by binary fission. So the first stage of binary fission is that the chromosomal DNA replicates. Chromosomal DNA replicates. And so does the DNA plasmids. As you can see here, DNA plasmids replicate into more than just one more. So the chromosomal DNA and the plasmid DNA, they replicate. The prokaryotic cell then gets bigger, as you can see here. So the cell gets bigger. And before the cell divides, the chromosomal DNA and the plasmid DNA move to the poles of the cell. So as you can see here, the chromosomal DNA is going to move to the poles of the cell. And the plasmid DNA is going to move to the poles of the cell. So the chromosomal DNA and plasmid DNA move to the pole of the cells. And what I'm drawing here is the cytoplasm beginning to divide. So the cytoplasm divides. So the cytoplasm divides. So to form two identical daughter cell, the cytoplasm divides and cell walls are now reforming along the divided cytoplasm. So to form two new identical daughter cells, new cell walls begin to form. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. And these here are the two daughter cells. And each cell has one copy of the chromosomal DNA, but they can have variable numbers of plasmid DNA. So binary fission has produced this daughter cell and this daughter cell. So there are two daughter cells that have been produced. And there's one copy of chromosomal DNA in this prokaryotic bacterial cell, and there's one copy of chromosomal DNA in this prokaryotic bacterial cell. But remember, there can be variable numbers of plasmid DNA in the bacterial cells. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com. For more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.